who's in your boat, who's helping you paddle, who's, who's drilling holes in your boat. If it's, uh, if you you feel like your boat is sinking, who's helping you bail? You know, is somebody else drilling holes in your boat while you're bailing? And just really taking stock in who is really, really, I won't necessarily say on your side, but who is really for you and not necessarily covertly against you. Um, and sometimes I, I recommend, I highly recommend free writing for this, sitting down every day and writing one to three pages, just whatever's in your brain, put it on paper. Three pages is best. If you are having a hard time getting started with it, one page is great. And your goal is to work up to three pages a day and do it every day. I got out of that habit again. I'm going to get back to it, into it again. I need to really sit down and lock down my own time. I'm not telling anybody else things that I don't do or I don't even struggle with, right? This is real talk in real life. So you free write anything that's on your brain. Don't worry about sentence structure. Spelling doesn't have to make sense. Just do a brain dump. Every morning, get up, have your coffee or your tea, whatever it is you do for your routine, and brain dump onto paper. Don't go back and correct it. Don't do anything. Um, for me, a lot of my topics for things I want to talk about and things that I want to address come out. And if I know something is gold that ends up on paper, I circle it so that I have a way to go back to it quickly later on and I don't read the rest of it. After about a week of your brain dumping, go back and see what topics come up a lot. And a lot of us are going to notice that there's somebody that is just annoying the living crap out of us. There's things that we want to do and they keep putting on the brakes or there's things that we say. And there's some side handed comment coming off the back side of it. That kind of thing is going to be really, really obvious. And those patterns are going to pop out at you. Oh, like a fish just jumped. Uh, squirrel. Uh, fish, actually. Uh, those kind of patterns are going to pop out at you when you start to put them on paper and make them concrete. So it's who's in your boat. And, and I am my own best client. I know there's people who know me. I know there's people who know me personally in here and people that have known me for decades in this group. And let me just say that I am still my own client because the more I build my business and the stronger and more independent I become in this next chapter of my life, the more and more issues and holes I start to be that are being drilled in my boat in my marriage. Yeah, that one snuck up on me. So I'm not fighting for my space. I'm owning my space. So there's no argument. Right. I'm not having an argument in my marriage because I know my de my definition and my space and what I'm doing. I'm not going to fight for my space. My space is there. So some of us don't understand that yet. And that's great. I've I've gone through hell and back a few times. So I've, I have figured out the patterns and I've been with this guy for 11 years. So it's not like I caught on to things really fast. It's once I started changing my own patterns that I started seeing other things surface. And I'm like, oh, OK, I get it now. So, and that's not to speak ill of him. People are who they are, right? This is not a man bashing place. But this is, I have to hold my space and my ground. And so do you, you have to hold your space and hold your ground. So who's drilling holes in your boat? Who's helping you paddle? Who's bailing if there is a hole in your boat? Or, and who's not helping you bail, right? The, the meme I posted the other day about find out who's on your side, run out of gas and see who helps you push. That's true, Okay. So when you do these things, and, and the other question to that is, is are you drilling holes in your own boat? Are you drilling holes in your own boat? Are you doing some form of self-sabotage that you're not necessarily harming yourself per se, but you're limiting yourself to not reach the goals that you say you want? Prime example of this, I started this business, right? Right now I have no paying customers yet. And everybody's like, you rock at what you're doing. How come you have no paying customers? Full disclosure, mine was a limiting belief around money and the things that I could do or couldn't do. And in order to stop myself and live out that belief system that I had, I did not get a bank account for my business for six months. Doesn't make sense, right? Everybody's like, what do you mean you're not making money? Well, I was like, well, I don't know. I haven't converted any clients. No, no, no. The reason I wasn't making any money is because I had not gotten a bank account to make money. I did not build the simplest foundational thing so that I didn't have to face the fear of, oh, well, what if I'm not successful? Or what if this is, oh, I don't know, going to cause problems in my marriage, right? Some things you know that you just aren't ready to deal with yet.
And I'm being real with you guys because this kind of stuff we're dealing with is real. And if I'm not going to be truly authentic to you, I have no place coaching you to be truly authentically you either. Right. So I finally got my bank account and I'm, and I'm boot scooting onto that. And I'm not trying to sell anybody. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, that's great. If not, I'm offering my free service and value every day, all the way. That's, I'm not here to make money. I just understand that money is a byproduct of the energy you put out and the things that you do in this world. Okay. I had to learn that this last year. So it's, are you drilling holes in your own boat? I've drilled some in my own and now I'm plugging those up and I'm, just, I'm not even gonna, I'm not trying to stay afloat anymore. I want to sail this, the freaking world, right? The world is my oyster. I'm going there. And how ironic is it? I'm out here on this beautiful water talking about this. So who's in your boat? Are you drilling holes in your own boat? And what are you going to do to change those patterns or those people? You know, are you going to decide that you're going to throw that fool overboard? Whoever that fool may be. It might be boyfriend, husband. It might be a friend relationship, a family member, a boss, right? This isn't just intimate relationships. These kind of patterns happen everywhere. So are you going to throw them overboard? Or are you going to learn to grab that life jacket and save yourself? is basically the two options. Because when you get into these positions where people are drilling holes in your boat and that boat is sinking, you're not gonna be able to shake their hand and ask them to be nice so the boat will stay afloat. It doesn't work that way, right? Either they're going overboard and you're saving the boat or you're getting the hell off the boat yourself. So those are things and choices and decisions you're gonna have to make based on your um, circumstances.